everything revolves and spins around and is affected by by one or two things in our community and drugs and guns right now are the two areas that we really need to focus on. Number one, who's causing the problem? And then number two, how are they getting these firearms? Where are these firearms coming from? And we understand that some of them come from break and enters in our community. So people have firearms in their homes. And then when we look at those people, there's a lot of them that have them there because it might have been a firearm that belonged to their spouse, something's been inherited, those types of things. But people are a bit apprehensive to come into the police service and say, hey, I have a gun in my closet at home because they're worried about repercussions on them. Should their house get broken into or should someone know they have that firearm in their house, I would say they might even be targeted as a victim. So we want to try and provide them away with an amnesty so that they're not going to be charged by the fact that they had this firearm, but turn it into us. Uh, the guns will be destroyed. Um, we have a, you know, a small thank you for them in terms of whether it's a bus pass or a leisure center pass, and we thank the city of Regina for that. But really, it's just a way to try and keep these guns from falling in the hands of the wrong people. We don't want people who are going to use a gun in a robbery or use a gun to assault a person or murder a person. We don't want them falling into their hands. So we're trying to provide an avenue for that. We might encounter people through this that say, I want the gun. I have the gun, I inherited the gun, I want to keep the gun, how do I do that? And we'll walk them through that as well. There's ways, there's steps we can uh, put them in touch with the National Registry and get them their license or their possession uh, acquisition certificate as well. You know, I know that there's people that are just saying, look, I love guns, I'm a gun collector and it drives me crazy that you're going to destroy all these firearms. We understand that people can't just go and sell a gun if they aren't in lawful possession of it and so we're trying to provide a way that that we can do it so this is not an attack at people who are lawful gun owners this is targeting criminals first and foremost and this is targeting people that might not want to have those firearms in their house and want a way that they can just get rid of them without any fear of repercussion